So Newcastle continuing where they left off. Spurs as well, but not in the way in which they would want to, as once again we see them coming from behind and being a two-half side. This time against Brentford, Brentford 2-0 up. Spurs getting it back to 2-2 to take a point. This is silly as now, isn't it, Stevie? Yeah, I think you've got to point the finger at Conte. You, you can't do this as often as they do without thinking it's the way the manager puts them on the field. You know, all the things, all the things, particularly away from home, you try to put home to your players is, you know, pick up good positions defensively when we don't have the ball, you know, make sure you stay with your men. I mean, all the basic stuff that, that, that you want to do to start the game well. And for some reason, the message he seems to give Tottenham players is that they forget to play and they just kind of sit in a spot and sort of back off. And so if you're going to go to Brentford and think that they're not going to come after you, then you're crazy. And that's pretty much what happened. The last nine matches, Craig, they've gone behind. Yeah. But it's got, it doesn't matter where they go. I mean, Bournemouth was the same. Came back and won, I think, right at the death. I think it was 3-2. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the, the better teams in the Premier League. It's, it's anybody. Mm. Anybody. But when you're aware of it, you know this is a problem. Why isn't... Well, it's him. I mean, the buck stops with, with Conte. I mean... He's got every other gripe under the sun, but th this isn't down to transfers or salaries or squad. It's, it's, do it's down to his team, his setup. It's his problem to fix, nobody else's. It's not Daniel Levy. Daniel Levy gave him a decent summer. He gave him a decent summer. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't horrendous. It was pretty good. But yet, I mean, they're better than they were, and they're in a decent position. But this is this will cost them. Yeah. This will cost them. I mean, they got one or two gripes in this game. Right. For sure. I thought anyway, certainly with the pull on Kane at the back post. Uh, but the going behind is just ludicrous now. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.